Welcome back to the channel again. I got stuff. If you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram because I posted a picture of that here, there first. But uh, yeah, so I I got a bunch of compost. I forget how many bags. I think it's like 12 bags of compost. And then I got um, manure. And I got tree planting soil. And I got some, I think, general purpose soil. And I got pavers. And that's all to do many, many, many projects that I need to get done or try to get on or try to get done this year. So I'm going to take a minute and start unloading this and you can watch me. And uh, then we'll move on to uh, the main purpose of today. The main goal of today, I should say. Knife. Need a knife. You should always carry a knife on you. doesn't need to be a big knife or a fancy knife. But a knife is a good tool to have. You work in an office, you don't need a knife. Huh? You can use a knife to open up envelopes. You ever get a package from Staples that has uh, plastic wrap on it? That's a pain in the neck to cut with scissors or a letter opener. Knife, good tool to have. I think the pallet's made out of something pressure treated, so I won't be using that for uh, anything that uh, I will be growing anything in, but I could probably use that wood for something. That's going to be another video where I talk about or show or whatever uh, about what I can do with pallet wood, or what you should do with pallet wood. In case you want a sneak preview, go check out the Optimistic Gardener. He does an awesome video or a series of videos about what he does with pallet wood. Incredible, incredible. Give the guy a follow. Okay, so a uh, video or two ago, I turned around and I started digging out this whole side of the house, I'm well, not digging out, but I, I started aerating the ground and I put down the compost, a little bit of compost, and then I put down the cardboard on top of it. Well, now I just finished covering the area up with the compost and uh, on the bottom of the screen here, let's see if I can get that into focus or into shot. I took some of the stones that I used to hold down the, the cardboard and I used, uh, used them to make a little path here. For now, I'm going to call this project done. Sorry for the shaky video. Until my shade plants start coming in probably in the next few weeks. And then, yeah, I'll start planting up the area and more compost will get added. And this area will also get mulch to help retain the moisture. Not that it actually needs it, but it's also used for a weed suppressant. Got to keep those weeds down. And I still have leftover compost and that doesn't also account for the cow manure and the other soils that I have so I will actually move them off to the side now stage them someplace because this is not the point of today's video
Wow. Yeah. Okay. There's plenty of room for delivery drivers. And we're pretty much in line with that, which is good. Okay, so the whole point of today's video was to draw a line. Not to draw a line in the sand, but to run a line from the what will be the south western edge of the vegetable garden out towards the front of the property line. And basically what I did was uh, I ran a bunch of stakes out there, which I'll show you in a second, in case they weren't obvious before, and some green twine to help draw that straight-ish line. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not that anal, but I would like things relatively square-ish. So, but this is the first stake. We're not at the back of the property line. I left myself some room for future endeavors or adventures or what may or whatever it is but also the space behind you, behind the camera there, floods pretty bad. That has to be addressed in due time. But basically we're gonna start from this point here where I've driven the anchor and go up 80 feet towards the front of the house. So let's go there now. There's one pole, there's the other pole. This is basically marking out the gate to the vegetable garden. This pole, this is the northern edge of the grand entrance and I don't know if you can see it, that pole there is the southern end. So let me show you that. Okay, so that pole there and that pole there, they're approximately 20 feet apart. That would be the entrance to the grand walkway. Looking at it now, perhaps too big, perhaps not. It might not be. And again, here's my logic or thinking, and this will run straight across the back behind me, back towards the other end of the property. I eventually would like to get like big three or four foot wide planters to act as anchor points. I think that would be awesome. That's another dream down the road, which may never come true. But you figure if you put a four footer and a four footer, you're now down to 16 feet. So give or take. So yeah, so, but that's, this would be the grand entrance. And again, that would run straight back through those trees towards the other end of the property. See that bit of green string right there? There you go. That's the twine that I used to mark out the property line or the, the garden line, the garden line. I marked out, this is the beginning of hedges that will go on the west side of the driveway. And then basically parallel with it, Parallel, is that the right term? But there's the other stake. So if I put them in line, boop, they all go in line, see? So therefore, so that marks that end of the garden. And then we come over here and we're about eight feet off of the drainage ditch. And then we would run straight down that way. So just to give you an idea of what that looks like, I will now walk it. And this is the southern end of the Grand Walkway. Uh, it's over 100 feet. This, this might be breaking up a bit. This is the northern end of the Grand Walkway. I really hope the audio is still working. Probably not. This right here, you can still see me or hear me. I might wind up doing voiceover for this because it's probably crackling. This is the gateway to the vegetable garden. And if by some luck or miracle, this is the other end of the proposed gardens. And if you can still hear me, great. So, I don't know if you could see me all the way down there or if you could hear me. If you do hear a lot of wind noise, I apologize, breezy day. 
But that is essentially the line. And it all starts with a line. From this line, once I get the measurements in correctly, that will then determine the rest of the garden going out. And that was the point of today's video. I hope you were mildly entertained. I'm out of breath. It's been a busy day. I gotta go edit video. I'll catch you guys on the next one.